Hello all my foodie friends and welcome back to the channel and welcome to the battle of the breakfast platters. <sighs> my name is Kat. I am the food cat and today I am doing a breakfast platter challenge. Um, I've seen a lot of uh, channels that they do McDonald's breakfast platter against Burger King breakfast platter and to see which one they like better. So we are gonna do something similar to that. Um, I don't know about you, but I love breakfast, any kind of breakfast. So we are going to go ahead and introduce you to the contenders today. Okay, let me introduce you to the contenders. We have the Jack in the Box, and they have a breakfast platter you could either choose all bacon, all sausage, or bacon and sausage. I went ahead and got the bacon and sausage. So we have bacon, sausage, hash browns, mini pancakes, and eggs. And that total, my friends, came out to 731. Now, the next contender is McDonald's. McDonald's, they give you pancakes, bacon, English muffin, eggs, and sausage with a hash browns. They forgot to give me my receipt that I asked for, but I do remember it being $8.25, $8.25 for that. Now, unfortunately, our Burger Kings here do not have a breakfast platter. I know a lot of the other channels are doing McDonald's versus Burger King. So I have McDonald's versus Jack versus a newcomer, the underdog, Wiener Schnitzel. Um, they have eggs, hash browns, biscuit, and bacon. You could choose either bacon or sausage. And this one was $5.45. So these are the three contenders: Wiener Schnitzel, McDonald's, and Jack in the box. Let's find out who will prevail in the taste test. Okay, so let's get into this. We are going to start out with trying the eggs. Each one of these platters does have eggs. So let's go ahead and try the eggs. Um, the Jack in the box eggs are scrambled. So let's try this. Typical scrambled eggs. You could taste the salt, so you know that they season the eggs. I think it's pretty good. Um, let's do the, and this is what the eggs look like. They're definitely scrambled in little pieces. Okay. Um, the McDonald's eggs look like, looks kind of like a cheese slice, right? So let's go ahead and try a bite of this. It's, um, it's definitely slimy. Um. Yeah, I, I didn't really like those eggs. Um, let's go move on to, um, to Wiener Sizzle. Wiener Sizzle, look at this huge. They have, they made like a whole omelet. I don't even know how many eggs this is. It's got to be more than two. So let's go ahead and try these eggs. Mmm. Those eggs are good. And you could tell they cook the eggs maybe on the griddle by the bacon or it's just the bacon in the package is giving it more bacon flavor. But that one was good. Now, next item will be, we'll try the bacon. So, um, Jack in the Box bacon. Sorry, Pepe is making noises. He always does when I do videos. This is the Jack in the Box bacon. 
chewy bacon. Tastes good. Definitely good bacon. Let's try the McDonald's bacon. This is all I got. Let me show you the Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box gave me three full slices. McDonald's gave me uh, um, medium sized slice and two baby slices, or maybe the two baby slices is supposed to be one. Let's go ahead and try this. It's chewy. The Jack in the Box is a little bit greasier than the McDonald's. Now let's try the mini sizzle. Mini sizzle, you get two full pieces. It's definitely crispier than the other two. Slight grease, but not a lot. Good. Okay. Now, let me chew this up before I keep going. Okay, now I think we should do the hash browns next. Actually, let's do the sausage next. This is the Jack in the Box sausage patty. Tastes like sausage. It's good flavor. This is the McDonald's sausage. About the same. I actually got the Jack in the Box last or first and then the McDonald's then the um then the Wiener Schnitzel but it seems like the McDonald's got um colder faster than the Jack in the Box or the Wiener Schnitzel. Now the Jack in the, or the Wiener Schnitzel does not have sausage. Like I said I could have ordered bacon or sausage. I chose bacon. Now we're going to go to the hash browns. This is a Jack in the Box hash browns. Compared to the McDonald's hash browns. So the Jack in the Box. Little salt. Potato is cooked really good. I think in my opinion. It's crispy, but not too crispy. The McDonald's. Cooked all the way through. Crispy, but not too crispy. A little more oilier than the Jack in the Box one. And you could tell by the napkin. And then the Wiener Sitzel. Very crispy. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little overcooked. Mm -hmm. Still good though. Not really oily, but overly crispy. Next, let's try the pancakes. Now, Jack in the Box has the mini pancakes. Wow. McDonald's has the bigger pancakes. Now, I know Burger King's not here because they don't have a platter, so for our Burger Kings don't have platters, so they can't compete, but I do love Burger King pancakes the best. So let's try the Jack in the Box. Basic pancake. Cook them. Totally chewable. Let's try the McDonald's. And if you're wondering why I'm not putting syrup on it, if you really want to judge a pancake, you need to eat it without the syrup because sometimes 
They they could be wheat pancakes. They could be regular pancakes, buttermilk pancakes. Um, some places they put vanilla in their pancakes. But if you put syrup all over it, all you're going to taste is chewy syrup. So let's try the McDonald's. McDonald's is lighter. Basic mix. The reason why I like Burger King's is because they're just as light and just the same size as the McDonald's. But they have like a vanilla aftertaste to it. And then of course, Wiener Schnitzel does not have pancakes. That's okay. Now, that was everything for Jack in the Box. They have bacon, sausage, hash browns, eggs, and the mini pancakes. Five items on their um, breakfast platter for $7.39. It's $6.69 plus tax, depending on where your taxes are. Now, um, McDonald's has eggs, sausage, bacon, pancakes, and they have an English muffin. So let's go ahead and try the English muffin. Oh, and hash browns. So eggs, sausage, bacon, pancakes, English muffin. So they have one more item and they are a dollar more than the Jack. So basic English muffin. I taste a little bit of butter, but not too much. The center is soft and chewy, but the ends are really hard. The wiener schnitzel has eggs, hash browns, bacon, and a biscuit. Four items. And it comes, it's $4.99 plus tax comes out to $5.45. Let's go ahead and try their biscuit. This is their biscuit. Now, I actually love the biscuits and gravy that they have at Wiener Sissel, which is separate than the, um, than the biscuit, or than the breakfast platter. And you can tell if it's a good biscuit when you see the layers. See the layers of the biscuit? So let's go ahead. Mmm. There's the layers again. It is so soft. Not gooey. Baked just right. So good. And this is with me not putting butter or anything on it. So good. So. You guys tell me what fast food place do you like to order a breakfast from? If you've had any of these platters, let me know which ones you um, like the best. If I had to rank them, I will rank them not only for quality and quantity and price range. First place would be Wiener Sizzle. Second place would be Jack in the Box, and third place would be McDonald's, in my opinion, for me. Tell me what you guys think, and let me know any other challenges you would like me to do, um, and I will see if I can do them. Until next time, you guys, um, enjoy your breakfast, be hungry for food, stay hungry for life, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.